New reaction tonight at 10 to charges filed in connection with the signature scandal that rocks Sabina Matos's congressional campaign last year. As we reported earlier, a worker for the Matos campaign was charged with falsifying nomination papers. Our Kayla Fish spoke to the head of a good government group about what this means and where the investigation goes from here. Kayla. Well, Shannon and Mike, in a statement, Lieutenant Governor Sabina Matos praised the investigation, saying in part, quote, it's vital that the people who demeaned Rhode Island's democratic process are held accountable, a sentiment shared by the head of Common Cause Rhode Island. It's good that this wasn't just swept under the rug. John Marion with Common Cause Rhode Island reacting to news that the attorney general has charged a worker on Sabina Matos's failed congressional campaign. It's nice to see when you know, truly bad behavior comes to light that it's prosecuted. 45-year-old Christopher Cotham is facing four charges, including two felony counts of falsifying nomination papers. 12 News interviewed Cotham back in 2014 for a story about overdose prevention. According to court documents, Cotham told police he met Holly McLaren, a Matos campaign contractor, during recovery after a struggle with addiction, and she eventually got him involved in collecting signatures for the Matos campaign. Campaign. According to court records, Cotham said McLaren pledged to pay him $2 for every signature he gathered for the Matos campaign, but says he couldn't remember if he was instructed how to collect them. Elections officials discovered nomination paperwork to get Matos's name on the ballot included falsified signatures, including names of people who had died. When police questioned Cotham, court records show he admitted that he looked up names and addresses on white pages online, wrote them on the papers, and signed their names. It's laid out on the, the signature collection sheets exactly how this is supposed to be done, and it's very clear that didn't happen here. While the election has come and gone, the investigation into the signature scandal is ongoing, and Marion says it's possible more people are charged. You know, hopefully they're going to be held up accountable by our criminal justice system. Now, Cotham pleaded not guilty at his arraignment late last month. An email to his attorney has not been returned. His next court date is on Thursday. Live in studio tonight, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.